Ah, grunge. <laughs> it's also like, what luck as to what you're going to say when we start recording. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the point, right? You're never going to know. It's like, I'm a complete, I'm a man of mystery. Man of mystery? I'm a man of mystery. Um, talking of mystery, we don't really know where we're going to go. No, but we know we're going to regret it. What? Yeah, we'll be moving away from the Mr. Sims candy shop. And we've learned about the Mr. Sims candy shop. It's, um, it's a chain, so there'll be others. I don't care. It's this one that I like. Only because you flirt with the woman and she I gets you... I don't flirt she with gets you. We're just, it turns out... She, turns, she gets you to try all the sweets. There's a young lady behind the counter. Only yesterday. All the other times it's been different staff and everything. But she was just like, oh, oh, we're on the same wavelength. And she just starts handing me candies to try. I come out and Joe's like, it's like watching a kid in a candy shop. I'm like, it is watching a kid in a candy <laughs> shop. It's just a big kid in a candy shop. So we're moving on today. We're leaving Nantwich for the second time. Yep. Sadly, this time we're not going on to the Kangosan. Nope. We don't really know where we're going. Today we're going to fill up with water, empty the rubbish, etc. And we're going to go down the Middlewich branch as far as Venetian Marina to get diesel. And that's as far as we, we know. Yeah, so basically we have this dilemma, really, that's coming up. Which is, we get to Barbridge Junction and we have the ability to choose a left-hand branch where we would go up to Chester and on to Ellesmere Port. Well, that's kind of straight up carrying on up the Shropshire Union. Yeah, yeah. So it's following the Shropshire Union up all the way to Ellesmere Port, where it runs into the River Mersey. And I then... have been told we are not going on the Mersey. <laughs> no, we're not crossing the Mersey to Liverpool, although that is an option, but then you need a pilot to do that. Um, but there's also the option, once you get there, of going on to the Manchester Ship Canal and going east. To Manchester. Yeah. But the Manchester Ship Canal has quite a few requirements. We'd have to get the boat surveyed. Um, it's a different survey than the boat safety certificate survey, but it is basically the equivalent of the boat safety certificate survey. So we'd have to get the survey done. We'd have to get permission of the, I think it's the Liverpool uh, shipping Authority to go on to the Manchester Ship Canal. Then there's a fee to go on the Manchester Ship Canal, and that fee is based on the distance you travel. And I think at the moment we were sort of thinking, well, maybe we'd go from Ellesmere Port, Ellesmere Port to the junction where the the where the Weaver is. Yeah, where the Weaver. Oh, and then I forgot to say, if we come down the Weaver, I've forgotten the name of the lock, but the lock before you get to the Anderton boat lift is actually shut. It's been shut for a while. Okay. So that would have an impact on our decision too. Right. I think it's called Salt House Lock. We're still trying to figure this out. <laughs> we'll probably go up towards Chester. So then we need to find out if it's possible to get onto the River Dee. And that's run by Chester City Council. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's not really much information we could find about that. So we'd have to look into that. There's the downstream portion of the Dee, which goes all the way to the estuary, which, which is apparently all industrial. And it's just for seaworthy seaworthy vessels, yeah. which ours technically is into an estuary, but isn't exactly a great idea, probably. And it's not technically navigable by anybody, but, uh, you know, commercial boats and stuff, so. So the other option is to go down the Middlewich branch from Barbridge Junction to Middlewich itself, where the Middlewich branch meets the Trenton Mersey, and then we've got the option of heading north or south there. South would take us back down, say, Great Hayward, so to kind of complete that loop, and then off that section, you've got the Calden Canal and the Leap Branch. You've also got the Harecastle Tunnel to go through, mm -hmm. so that would be quite interesting. So we'd go to Great Hayward and come back. You've got the option of turning down the Macclesfield Canal, and then you've got the Peak Forest Canal, or we can continue north and do the Anderton boat lift there and go on the River Weaver from there. So, so many options. And the thing is, it's not necessarily the place we want to go to. It's the best route to enable us to see everything with the least number of repetitions. repeats. Yeah. It's the repetitions that's the problem. Oh. So by the time you see this, we'll have made our decision <laughs> and gotten to wherever the heck we're going. But today we're just going to, yeah, as far as getting diesel, to enable us to make the decision to go. <laughs> to go. Yeah. So it's, it's going to be a short trip. It's going to be a short vlog. Well, it's not going to be that short of a vlog because of the amount of talking about it. But we're going to sit today and make a decision as to what which to direction next? to go in and whether or not we just say, hell with it, we'll cross the Mersey. All right, should we go and do our chores? Yeah, for sure. That's assuming the um, service points even free. <laughs> well, we're going to sit there until it is. Oh, let's the go. option.
totally forget what we said this morning about going to Venetian Marina. We um, totally forgot there's a marina here that sells diesel uh, just at Nantwich. So we've stopped here. Pretty much the same price, slightly more, but not enough to uh, make us want to go up the lock to Venetian. So just waiting for the them to come along and we will fill up with diesel. Today's not going to plan. Not in a bad way, it's just everything we said we'd do, we're not doing. <laughs> we didn't get water. Well, we did get diesel. It well, turned out we got diesel back at uh, Nandwich at the marina there because we hadn't, for some reason, even though we passed it twice, hadn't noticed that they had diesel. So we were thinking we had to go up to the Middle Witch Ranch to get diesel. But now we don't have to go up the Middle Witch Ranch. And then we were going to get water, but just as we were about to come off the diesel point, two boats, well, one boat went on the water point and another boat was queuing. We don't want to wait for an hour. Yeah. So, so we, just, we unloaded our rubbish and then. Uh, so we did get that done. And then we were walking down here, and um, I had the genius idea that we could moor at the junction where the Hulston locks are and walk and get a uh, snowberry ice cream. So yeah. Michael didn't need much convincing that that was a good idea. No, I was like, no, we should continue. Wait a minute. Yes, we should go get ice cream. <laughs> so we, at the moment, we plan to get ice cream and come back and move on. A bit further and hopefully, get up below the junction where we can get some water hopefully get water there yeah. um although i'm quite tempted just to be like let's just stay here yeah no i'm tempted to stay here because we could go to ice cream again tomorrow morning but i think that's also an argument for not <laughs> so anyway ice cream ice cream now so you made it to snuggeries and we both have regret i should have got death by chocolate and i should have got the yum yum from last time I got mint chocolate chip, it's nice, but it's not death by chocolate. I was like, I've got to follow through with my thing of trying out as many flavors as I can. But then immediately afterwards, it's like, well, what if I never get back to Snuggeries again? Mm. Oh, well. And George is just down here desperate for some ice cream. Uh, George, why did you have to get ice cream all over me? arrived well no actually that's a lie we arrived at Barbridge Junction about two hours ago <laughs> and we weren't even going to moor on this mooring we were looking for a water point so we started out this morning in Nantwich and we decided to skip filling up with water because yep. there were too many boats and Joe didn't want to line up and basically she was at the fact that two people had gotten in in front of us I wasn't I was at the fact that you spent ages talking in the shop <laughs> <laughs> and that's why two people got in front of us. Yeah. I was spending forever, apparently, yammering, just yap, 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 It was yap. just the, the timing of it, literally. The two boats arrived, like, it might have been gone for, like, 20 minutes. As I walk around the corner. And, yeah, two boats arrived just as you got back. Yeah. So, anyway. then so we she just, didn't want to line up. That's the I didn't want to wait at the water point, because... Because there's one here. Yeah. Right here. Right <laughs> right here. According to the Canal and River Trust interactive map. Just south of Bain Bainbridge Junction? Barbridge Junction. Barbridge Junction. Anyway, we get to Barbridge Junction after other adventures. Mm. And um, there's a nice water point. And the next one's 
like six hours away, five, five and a half, six hours away. And we were going to sit here for a few days and maybe stop at different places along the way. No, that ain't <laughs> happening now. <laughs> so I, that's why I'm annoyed. Because basically we pulled up and there's a, there's a small aqueduct right here. Uh, you can probably hear the road a little bit that's beside us. And then there's this small aqueduct. And we, as we were pulling up to the aqueduct, there's a mooring point here. And I thought, okay, I'll pull over to the mooring point. And this is just as a boat is has turned out of the junction and is facing this direction. So I pull over to sort of give him room to come through. Then as he comes through, it turns out that these are people who watched our videos. <laughs> so they jump off, come back and start talking to us as we're as we're holding the boat and then eventually as we moor up the boat. As we get into a long conversation, we decide we're, we're just gonna stay here on this mooring that you happen to stop at to let them pass. Yeah, yeah, it was it was nice. We got to talk, <coughs> talk to a couple of Americans who have come over and have watched our videos. It's just, you know, super sweet and good fun. And George was just loving the attention and you know, but it kind of distracted from, well, where is this water point? I phoned the Canal and River Trust and she said there was water at bridge, between bridge 94 and 95, which was before the Hurlston Junction, but I didn't see a water point. No, me either. Anyway, we missed that one if there was one. Yeah, we might have missed that one. But the next one, yeah, isn't until pretty much in Chester. So. Yeah. And yeah, you found out from somebody that this one got taken away three years ago. Yeah, apparently 2016 it went out of order and then since then has been removed. <laughs> so anyway, there's no water point. So now we, we are like, sitting with like a tiny bit of water is, and no showers. This is the lowest we've ever let our water get. Like yes. usually it gets to, because we've got this gauge and usually it gets to eight and we're like, oh, better top it up. Yeah. Better top it up to ten. The only time we've seen it lower than it is currently is when we drained it. Uh, as we moved on board, we wanted to drain it and sanitize it. Maybe we should do that again while, while it's empty. Might be a good time. <laughs> so we also haven't yet made a decision as to where we're going, but I think now we sort of have because the Based water's on the in water. check. <laughs> oh no, there'll be one the other way. I didn't ask the other way. Well, there is one shown on our 10-year-old Nicholson's guide at the end of Middlewich Junction. So it's like at the far end, so we could go all the way up to Middlewich. Yeah, but if we do that, I'm like, we might as well go down the Trent of Mersey. Right. So stay tuned. <laughs> to the next episode to find out what the heck we decided to do. <laughs> this was supposed to be like a tight, like, we've come no distance today. Nope. It's taken us all day. Yep, I totally mean, exhausted. Admit, admittedly, half of that was to go and get ice cream. And a good portion of it was just me talking to people. Yeah, so we'll take a day off. Yeah, I think we have to, really. We'll come to what our true decision is and you'll find out in the next episode. <laughs> Uh, so thanks very much for watching. We hope some of this video made sense. Um, like any of it at all. <laughs> if you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it or it didn't make sense, give us a thumbs down. Comment down below if um, you'd but, like to. But please don't give us too much hassle. Cause <laughs> it's been a long day for a very short ride. <laughs> and uh, subscribe if you want more of this yeah, articulate, and, intelligent conversation. And, and click the bell because you definitely want to know about these when they come up. <laughs>
And because the aqueducts were right after the turning, they weren't lined up in the right position, so they took a little bit of time to get in the right position. And then behind them, coming down straight down the Shropshire Union, was a little plastic boat with an out, outboard motor, I guess. I don't know what kind of engines they had. And the boat, the plastic boat, had been sitting behind him for like, you know, a minute or whatever while he was doing that. Last minute, got fed up, undertook the um, narrowboat just in the entrance. So the narrowboat then was all thrown off by this boat speeding just past. Going past. And like, yeah, and the wind as well, and the plastic boat could have got squished because, you know, they've been struggling for this, all this time and there's wind. You should thought, probably say GRP as well. Yeah, the it's GRP. Not, not really plastic, it's glass reinforced plastic. <laughs> okay, so. So I hope this has turned out into something that wasn't completely... Nonsense. <laughs> I feel like we're just talking nonsense. Oh, please, next time we'll be better. I, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's my comment. Please return. <laughs> the next vlog will be better than this one. Thank you for watching. It can't get worse. Give us a thumbs <laughs> or up. Or a thumbs down because it's been so up. bad. Or, or yeah, on either one. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up or in reality case for this video, possibly a thumbs down. And uh, comment if there's something you push to know us about. I thought you were going to do it seriously. I was trying to do it seriously. <laughs> You wish to know us about. <laughs> you wish to know us seriously. I was, was, um, I, uh, if you wish to know us about something, comment. I've been smiling so much, my my head hurts. Mm -hmm.